There are some places where you step into a realm where untouched nature reigns supreme and magic dances in every breeze the wind blows. And for me, that is right here in Khao Sok National Park. Here on Chularn Lake, you will find these luxurious floating bungalows that will transport you to a completely different world of untouched nature and unparalleled scenery. This is like next level beautiful. And we've just pretty much entered in to the stunning like rocky hill tree covered <laughs> so many words right now i just can't formulate the sentence properly but yeah this already feels like i'm in another world i'm so excited our journey actually began at the chularn lake pier where we met our traditional thai boat that was going to take us deep into the national park before getting onto the pier we did have to pay about 260 baht one for the national park fee and one for the pier fee it's really hard to believe that this lake that spans over 165 kilometer radius is actually man-made and it was constructed in 1987. as you approach the cliffs that are jetting out of the water you feel like you're on a totally different planet in fact i felt like i was straight in the middle Middle of an avatar movie it was so magical and the scenery was just jaw-dropping and after an hour and a half boat ride there it was the stunning luxury resort floating in all its glory 500 rye i honestly can't even tell you how excited i was to get here they invited us to come for two nights to experience the lodge and i couldn't contain my smile i was just in my happy place from the minute i got off that boat after you check in you head down the floating walkway to your villa check out the beautiful view on the way and just enjoy the way it feels to walk on water. We are in Villa 3. Is that where you're from? Yeah. Wow. Okay, you immediately walk in. There's like, I think it's a little garbage can. Cute little sandals if you need. Oh my, even a postcard. Look at this. Dear Petrina Shell, thank you for choosing us to be a part of your special day. Best wishes to you and your family during your stay with our resort. Best regards, housekeeping team. That is so sweet. And look at how beautiful this looks, guys. Some fresh folded towels. It smells so good in here. That's our little sink. There's an upstairs, a little loft up there. You just need to climb the little ladder stairs up to the top. And then once you get up there, you will find two twin beds. And let's check out the bathroom before we see the main room. It's cute. All you need. So the bathroom is separate from the shower. I love it. Now let's check out the main room because this is, wow, where it's at. Look at that view. That is spectacular, guys. Let's check this out. Wow. We have our own kayak. And this is absolutely stunning and there's the main bed waking up to this view is going to be incredible it is absolutely stunning here their whole motto is disconnect to reconnect because there is no cell phone connection here and they don't have internet i mean there is internet if you purchase it but because the motto is disconnect to reconnect there's no way i'd be purchasing internet another very exciting thing about this trip is that my friend Hannah is here. Hi, Hi Hannah. She's back. She's back. <laughs> you know, I needed an adventure buddy. Didn't want to do an experience like this alone. So Hannah came from Koh Tao all the way to Khao Sok to enjoy this adventure with me. And if you don't remember Hannah, if you didn't watch my Koh Tao video, well, she's in it, so definitely go watch it. We arrived here the minute we got off the boat today lunch was ready we got straight into it with a glass of vino and then they started us off with a caesar salad with bacon and tomato there's hannah capturing her lunch hey <laughs> and then we had some salmon and also a i don't know what was it like a it was some sort of wrap the weirdest dessert I've ever had oh and the I weirdest loved dessert it. <laughs> the dessert was like amazing like yeah. so <laughs> interesting because the like coconut milk sauce had amazing flavor but the little green squiggly things in it yeah tasted like nothing like overcooked green beans I yeah don't i don't it like really it was good. so good Very though textural. like the texture yeah. of them was really amazing so the texture of those mixed with the flavor from the coconut milk so good yeah really so really good. good this view also really good and then you'll notice they also have life jackets and paddles for your kayak over there we got some fishes down in the water right there and we got our popcorn that we bought before we came so 
Me and Hannah are going to just give them a little snack. We don't want to use all our popcorn at once, but let's make the fishes happy, right? Hey, little fishes. <laughs> <laughs> popcorn. Oh, look at them go. Oh, look at that little fella got left out. Here we go. You excited? I would love it. <sighs> They're all so hungry. They're like Look at ready. Them. They like called all their friends. They're like, hey guys, we got popcorn. Ready? Ready. <laughs> Don't forget about the ones in the back though. Little guys. Because they're quick. They're so fast. Try and like... <laughs> it's raining popcorn. <laughs> they do offer a wide variety of activities here at the resort. But tonight we are going on a wildlife sightseeing tour. So we're heading to the boat right now. It's a two hour trip. So from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. And then when we get back, we're gonna enjoy dinner. You excited? So excited, let's go. Let's get it. <laughs> Very exciting. I really hope we see some wildlife. I grew up on a lake, so just being on a boat on the lake makes me happy. <laughs> no dog. I was on it. I was looking for wildlife. There is actually quite a lot of wildlife that you could potentially see on the shores, even elephants if you're really lucky. You see lots of trees sticking out of the water in various places, and to me, the explanation for that is because it is a man made lake, so it was flooded from the dam to create this lake. That sunset, though, with the reflection on the water, uh, that was something else. And long behold, we spotted something, your wild Thai buffalo. I was actually surprised how small this little Thai buffalo was, because the buffalo where I'm from look a little more like this. Well, I am glad we got to see something before we headed off back into the sunset towards the lodge, of course, with a little race on the way. The sun did go down by the time we got back and the lodge was looking so inviting. Dinner with our new friends. Hi. Feeling teacher. Aww, <laughs> old and old friends, <laughs> new friends and old friends. Yeah. Dinner this evening was a very well cooked steak with potatoes and onions. And then we finished off with some vanilla ice cream, caramelized banana and a fruit plate. What a peaceful sleep I had last night and what a beautiful and peaceful place to wake up to this morning. It's just absolutely incredible. It's so calm out here and it's not too hot yet. So I'm loving that those beds are next level comfortable and because we're on the water it feels like you're being rocked to sleep all night i could have stayed in that bed all day but there's too many amazing things to see around here and do so yeah no i wanted to get up and seize the day and really take in what this amazing place has to offer good morning good morning <laughs> It is super bright, so I actually can't not do this without my sunglasses. But we sat down to breakfast. They have a little coffee machine. So we both got a little cappuccino. It's automated, super easy. And then for breakfast, we are sharing a few things. We got this beautiful Caesar salad because the Caesar salad we had yesterday at lunch was too good not to have again. And then we got some eggs Benedict and also some maple banana pancakes. I am so excited and this glorious view, I just couldn't ask for much more. It is so beautiful out here today. I decided to bring myself for a little me time kayak and it's just so calm and peaceful. You can see the resort is right there behind me. There's so much to be discovered. Yeah, I loaded up the sunblock as well because it's incredibly hot, so yeah i put on like the highest spf i could find over there to the right is their honeymoon suite so if you rent that one you actually get your own private pool as well i'm sitting here just feeling so much gratitude for this moment what more could i ask for just me on the open water and basking in this incredible serene corner of nature here nature is my absolute happy place well being in nature and being on adventures but when you're in nature, it's always an adventure. So it kind of goes hand in hand, that one. But this is where I ultimately recharge at my absolute best. And I just feel in love with life. 
This is why I love that 500 Rise motto is disconnect to reconnect. You're reconnecting to nature, you're reconnecting to life, grounding yourself, and being disconnected is so good for all of us. Trying really hard just to stay totally in the moment, totally disconnected, and just absorbing, absorbing, yes. But it is cooking out here and I am a sweaty mess, but I'll take it to be in this pristine location. Look at how beautiful the resort looks as I'm paddling in. It has really, really amazing energy here. You know, after my kayak today, I'm actually really excited for lunch, but that kayak was next level amazing. I had the absolute best time. And now we're literally just on the appetizer and it's a really nice portion of fish and chips, which is almost the same size as the main, but it looks amazing. So I'm excited and we ran into our friends again. So we're all gonna have lunch together, which is always exciting. This fish was some of the best I ever had. Super crispy on the outside, tender and moist on the inside. Even Hannah agreed, she totally loved hers. And I was really impressed with the look of Liam's burger. That looked like such a good burger. After our fish appetizer, we had all of this come as our main, which we could barely make a dent in because we were already full, but it was so delicious at one thing you know here you're not gonna go hungry every afternoon they have different classes you can partake in and it can be cocktail class or today it was a thai cooking class and we were learning how to make traditional pad thai one of my favorite things to do when i'm traveling is to learn how to cook some of the local cuisine wherever i am yeah. oh, no. wow, Okay. <laughs> and then it was my turn, so I got straight to work copying exactly what I had just observed. That's pretty fun. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I love cooking, and I also love testing my memory after only seeing something done one time and then seeing how I do at it. But I feel like, yeah, I was doing all right. Wow. Nice work. Wow. Oh, wow. That's the best one. <laughs> After I made the egg to wrap the pad thai in, it was then time to make the sauce and the noodles. So I whipped that up and added some already cooked shrimp because it made life a lot easier when making the pad thai and you let it simmer for a little bit. Now tell us a story about a time in Thailand. I went kayaking and I kayaked all the way around the bend and then all the way across. It was wonderful. We had great teachers. This is Thai Pad Thai because normal pad thai you can find any restaurant but pad thai shaya is special pad thai in thailand it's become from the one of the historical city in suratani the name is chaya chaya is the city it's more than 1000 years they have thai boxing for chaya only chaya thai boxing too wow. and this is pad thai from chaya can you so show us some moves some thai boxing oh, moves thai boxing in chaya yeah. they bring the rope around like that. So, <laughs> I love it. Okay, now back to the pad thai. Okay, back to the pad thai. <laughs> there you go. Okay, an open like a magic trick. <laughs> One, two, three. I was not wasting a single second of my glorious time here. So I went out for another kayak, followed by another swim in the lake, and then I decided I needed to mix it up a little. I had to come into the pool for a little sunset swim and look at the beautiful mountains behind me. I think it's so cool that this is a floating pool. And even when I got in, it moves, obviously, because we're floating. And the bottom of the pool, though, is not hard. It's like a tarp type material and I didn't expect that so yeah it's quite cool even though I love swimming in the lake I equally love swimming in this floating pool it's like the best of both worlds here amazing here's the pool and then right there is the lake my friend Hannah was a little under the weather today but then she bounced back and here she is to enjoy the sunset 
These rain showers are my favorite type of shower head, but you know what's even better than that? A view like this outside your shower. Yeah! Getting fancy! Yeah. <laughs> Have fun, yeah. Ooh, I love salad! Let me, let me I love salad! Do you love salad? I love salad! I love salad! salad. salad. It sure does! <laughs> I had such an incredible day today. Kayaking, swimming, just enjoying everything that this incredible location has to offer. I loved the salmon so much the first day I got here and had it for lunch that I decided I'm going to have it again as my going away dinner. Hannah has absolutely devoured her. <laughs> <laughs> and I have the best company once again. <laughs> my last morning waking up to this beautiful view. I've loved every minute of it. And yeah, I definitely want to come back here one day. One last little fish feed. <laughs> Big fishes, they're not little at all. Gorgeous. <laughs> Let's go, and just like that, we had to wake up from our beautiful dream of staying at a floating lodge called 500 Rye in one of the most beautiful national parks that I've ever seen in my life. So I didn't actually even introduce our amazing friends here. There's Liam and James. <laughs> they are from London. Oh my god, Katrina. My Katrina with a P. Well, I'm originally from Ireland and Liam and I met in London last year and we're on a one month holiday across Thailand. It was my 30th in Bangkok and we are escaping the weather just like you are, girl. And yeah, I'm a makeup artist and we found out that a few of your friends from Canada followed me from the Glow Up on Netflix. So thank you all my Canadian friends that love makeup. Up. I'm on a hiatus, but here we are. <laughs> Time you'll do my makeup when we see each other. <laughs> I'm Liam. I'm a skincare and fashion creator from London as well. Um, we're on a little couple's trip together, making content, um, showing... What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? Having a holiday. Yeah. We're having a holiday, <laughs> and we're creating content to show that Thailand is safe for other gay couples to travel, and we're putting our favourite places out there. And we watch a lot of YouTube videos, so if you guys are going to Thailand and you're watching Petrina's, you made the right decision, okay? <laughs> Bye. Bye guys! Bye! Until next time, and I say that because I will be back. Thank you so much, 500 Rye.